Hi, this is Brian Wickle, Director of Simiode. We're going to continue our introduction and overview of the Simiode web community. This is the homepage of Simiode, and we thought we'd take a look at some of the features in the menu. Take a look at some of the notions of uh, under resources. For example, what's new? This is where we list the latest uh, uh, materials that have been posted. Here we have uh, several articles by Hans Rudolf Schneebly from Switzerland. Uh, these articles are in German, in case you're interested on population modeling. Uh, we could go back and look at some modeling scenarios, which is what uh, we want to do today. And uh, supposing we were interested in seeing if there's any materials involving epidemics. So we would go to the search menu, we would type in epidemic, and we would see here's an article, here's another article, here's a, a technical paper on AIDS. But we want the modeling scenarios. We want to find out if there's something useful for uh, our students. So we go to the modeling scenarios involving epidemic. Uh, here we see one uh, right away. Uh, let's take a look at it. It's the teacher version. Recall the teacher version is the one that has the statement of the problem in addition to uh, comments and helpful materials for teachers. So we'll click on this one. This is uh, corresponds again to roughly chapter six, uh, nonlinear systems in a differential equations textbook. This is authored by uh, Sheila Miller, then at the time on the New York City College of Technology faculty. Here we see an abstract, uh, the full citation, uh, the tags or keywords, and let's go and see if we can get the um, actual material. So here we have the opening page of uh, Dr. Miller's Modeling a Non-Lethal Influenza Epidemic. Uh, this again is the teacher version. has an abstract, a set of keywords uh, and tags, uh, and the statement of the problem. So the statement is offered here uh, rather succinctly, and uh, we can scroll down and read through that. And basically, there's a table of data for bedridden boys in an English day school, and we're going to try and model that with an epidemic model. Uh, Dr. Miller has uh, given a clear outline for the students, talking about uh, procedures step by step, mathematics, and now we have some of the comments for the teachers. As you can see, this has uh, about nine pages. And here we are on page three. We're talking to the teachers. So this is a full analysis uh, in which uh, the author points out how the model can be built either from differential equations or from uh, difference equations. Uh, there's an attempt to uh, use a spreadsheet to do the difference equation, and there are some online resources that are supplemental documents that you can look at. And we're going to try to estimate the parameters uh, using a sum of squares technique between the data and the variables. And we do that in the first shot, and we get something that looks like uh, this. Several other further attempts. And then we finally turn over to a differential equation model. Um, and we get a pretty good fit like this. We return to the difference equation model using uh, slightly different parameters and again working towards the minimization of the sum of the square errors using solver. And uh, we get some nice results for this and the parameters uh, seem to agree. Here's a discussion by the author and a full set of references. So this is an example of a modeling scenario that you can get from resources. Let's look at the additional materials that are available here. Uh, this, of course, is the version we were just looking at. This is the full underlying tech version. Remember that the materials in Simiode are readily available for download and modification uh, using the uh, most generous Creative Commons license uh, uh, around. Uh, here's material of a uh, Mathematica notebook and the PDF of the same. Uh, here's a discrete version that is uh, difference equations. And here's an Excel uh, version for uh, teachers that want to look and see how to do the analysis there. Here are the student versions, which of course simply have the statement and don't have any of the comments. 
And these are uh, class files and a graphics so that when you form the final presentation, uh, it looks nice. All right, so uh, we've gone out here and uh, we've looked at modeling scenarios. We looked into one. Why don't we look at the technique narratives? These are the attempts to talk about uh, how we solve things. And uh, I thought we'd look here at uh, the one involving integrating factors, a common technique used early on to solve first-order differential equations. So once again, here is the uh, abstract. Here's the full citation of this. And uh, we can go take a look at the actual teacher version. So here we have the introduction by the author, which happens to be the director, abstract. And this is an attempt to show integrating factors in the context of applications. So the first thing we do in this case is we show lots and lots of illustrations of first-order differential equations from various places that we know as a teacher uh, will lead to success if you use integrating factors. Here we describe the integrating factor, talking about the classical approach uh, using the uh, product rule to motivate it. We illustrate how the integrating factor works on a uh, biomass growth model. We determine the integrating factor, we get the solution, and we plot the so solution, uh, and giving the students some feedback in the context of the model. We go through the uh, model again, uh, and we have an assignment in which we ask students to do uh, lots and lots of these applications, each of which involves an integrating factor and uh, a modeling in context. Indeed, here's one with a circuit. Uh, in which we try to analyze the uh, amperage over a quick period of time when you turn the switch on in a circuit, um, or if you drive it, or a linear oscillator. And here we have some comments. These comments refer to many of the resources that are available uh, here. And uh, again, we have the underlying tech versions. In this case, we have some Mathematica code and the PDF for those that don't read Mathematica. Okay, so let's go back to resources again, and let's look down here at author information. So you're interested in materials for your students, but you might be interested in how you could contribute some of your projects, indeed some of the projects that your students have written, which you have uh, worked to collaborate with them and make into teaching materials. So there's a template. Um, there's an illustration of what the tech template looks like. Uh, we have a word template. Uh, we have information about the process. Uh, we have a manuscript management system and a full peer review, double blind uh, referee system. So this material uh, under author information here under resources can give you an idea as to how you can contribute uh, these resources as well. Okay, so let's go back to the home page and uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of these other resources that are available. And in particular, I want to call your attention to the potential scenario ideas in which we're just looking at uh, materials that can suggest to you um, ideas about uh, material that you could write with. Uh, Here's one, for example, uh, of course we have an index, but just pick one out. This one has got to do with an article that appeared in the American Journal of Physics, and uh, it has to do with terminal velocities of a shuttlecock. Uh, we uh, have the article for you here in the review, and we have information about the nature of it, and you can see that what it is is an attempt to model uh, a falling shuttlecock with a resistance term uh, in the force equation. And there's data offered, and indeed one of the modeling scenarios that was authored for Symbiode used this as a, a, a citation and a source. So we could look up other things. Here's one on the advertising, uh, a wonderful module uh, on advertising uh, in the film industry, uh, the model of North American cinematic box office and dynamics comes from a management uh, mathematics journal. Here's the full citation. Here's an abstract, and so forth. 
So you can get the idea. Uh, in this paper, the authors Buckmeyer and Edwards give illustrations of various movies and uh, revenue streams and first releases and so forth. So we've now given you a little bit more idea of uh, some of the source material that's available to you. Let's just take a look at some other things. Uh, we have an About Us section in which we talk about what the purpose and the whole idea behind Simeode is. Uh, we have information about becoming a contributor. In addition, we have a mission statement that uh, should give you some ideas to what we're trying to do. We have uh, a newsletter that comes out uh, bi-monthly. This is the current issue for February 2018 as we speak. We have a number of different contexts here. Uh, ideas for you. Uh, encouragement to publish. Uh, actually publishing some of your students' work. We've had collaborations there. Um, and upcoming events that we have. There's a, a board of contributing advisors, which we're very grateful for uh, from around the country, from uh, academe and from industry, and some former board members here as well. We have the capability of reporting problems if you have any issues. Uh, we have a blog that we run, and uh, here's uh, a nice issue that came up. It came from a TED Talk. Uh, we give you the reference to it. We highlight the information. We talk about the pretenders. That's that particular blog entry. So what we have is a rich source of materials for you to use, uh, lots and lots of uh, information, including uh, a student uh, competition using differential equations and a rather powerful video in which students share in their understanding. We have the upcoming 2018 competition. We have a summary of all of the results that come from the 2017, including the statement of the problems the uh, complete set of uh, student submissions, prizes, a summary of the uh, faculty development workshop which accompanies that, and uh, a, a math bowl, a kind of a fun a competition that uh, you can get yourself and your students into. So for now, uh, that's about it. Uh, we will um, hopefully hear and see from some of you in the future in a number of ways, either submissions or use of materials. Um, and we look forward to doing that. So thank you very much. Take care.